Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and this is the first video in a two-part series about this compact survival kit. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a full rundown of all the items in the kit and tell you why I chose them. And in the next video, I'm gonna take these items out into the woods and we're gonna see how they work for me. If you watch the channel often, you know I've done a lot of different videos on survival kits. So some of them are pre-made, some of them are more expensive, some are larger, some are smaller. I did a video on a compact survival kit probably five or six years ago, and so I wanted to revisit that topic with this compact survival kit. Here's a look at the kit from the outside. There's the front, one side, the other side, and the back. This is the PPM Slim 2.0. So this is a organization pouch from VanQuest. I love their gear, high quality stuff. You can see that it does have ways to attach gear on the back. That's why I put my tiny little mini tracker there from Topps Knives on the back. I did try to actually take this off and remount it on the clip, which you can see right there at a 90 degree angle, but I couldn't line up the uh, all the different holes in the sheath properly and really get a solid lock in. So I'm leaving it like this. And again, if I threw this into a backpack or a bag or something, it's not like the way it's set up is gonna be you know, a major hassle for me. Now, speaking of the knife, let me take it out of the sheath here and show it to you. This is the Tracker 4. I did a review on the full size Tracker not long ago. This is obviously a very compact version of that knife. Why did I choose this one? Well, because I've checked out the SE Azula and other smaller knives like that for survival kits. And so I wanted to test this one out. Um, it's gonna cost you more than if you just put like a $15 Mora on the, uh, on the pack. But I wanted to put this one through the paces and see if a knife that small with all those different angles and kind of different ways you could use it, if it's actually helpful to me when I'm out in the woods. We're gonna open up the pouch now. And to do that, obviously we're gonna pull in the zippers. I've replaced the original zipper pulls from VanQuest with the Exotac Tinder Zip. And so inside this zipper pull is a fibrous tinder. And so if you hit that with a spark or with a match, that'll help you to get your fire started. Here's a look at it inside. And just a reminder, this is built as a survival kit. So we're talking about how do I stay alive out in the woods for say 24 to 72 hours. So it's not about bushcrafting or carving, things like that. It's about very practical items that would help me stay alive if say I got lost or injured or something like that out in the woods. All right, let's talk through these different items. The first one is this, which is one of my fire starters. This is a poly striker from Exotac. You do have the striker that's built into the actual uh, handle there. I've never used one of these before in a survival kit. I've used a lot of their other fire starters, so I wanted to give this one a shot. Now, because this kit is so small, I had to put a small light in. So this is the Olight i3e EOS. You can see I have an extra AAA battery down here. Um, ideally, I would put a headlamp in a kit but it's just too thick. All the headlamps I have just make the entire kit too thick, you know, this way sticking out. So I went with something nice and small. You can see I put a bright piece of paracord and that'll hopefully help me to find it if I drop it. And then I put one of these S, S beaners from Night Eyes on there so I can clip it onto like a zipper pole or basically somewhere so I'm not gonna lose this small light. Because we're talking about survival, you wanna get out of that situation as soon as possible. And so that's why I have a whistle to signal for rescue. This is the Slim Howler from Adventure Medical Kits. You can see that I put it on a bright uh, lanyard. This is actually reflective and glow in the dark paracord. And I can throw that around my neck or you know, even probably you know, tie it to a belt loop or something like that. But just a, a way to signal and also you know, a way to basically keep it connected to me so I don't lose it. Over here on this side, you can see I've got my Sawyer water filter and the straw. Water is so important when you're out there in the woods in general, but definitely in a survival situation. So that'll fill up my belly, that'll keep me hydrated. If my belly is full, I'm gonna be less concerned about the hunger that may be bothering me. So that's an, another advantage. I've got a tiny little um, mock Swiss Army knife here. This is just another tool, and I'll show you some of the different um, you know, tools that are built into it, but another little option for cutting. I've got the knife on the back, and now I have that as well. A full-size multi-tool would be great, but just too big and clunky for this compact kit. This is the Titan Light, which is a lighter from X-Attack as well. So now I've got at least two lighting options, or two fire starting options in this kit. Down behind here, you can see, if I pull this out, I just have a small Ziploc bag. That allows me to carry things, and also in particular, to, uh, to carry water if I want to uh, move to a different location. Okay, let's look behind here now. You can see this is a classic thing for me in compact kits. That's a picture of my wife and kids and some Bible verses on the back. Mental encouragement is really important during a survival situation. So that's why that is there. Also in the back here, let me reach down in the little pocket here. 
On the back of this card is my contact information. I've put this in a lot of kits just in case I get lost or hurt or somebody finds me unconscious, all my contact info is on the back. Another item in that little pocket is Mil-Spec multi-purpose line. As you can see, it's 100 feet or 30 meters in black. I think I got this in a battle box a while ago. Very slim profile, so that's nice to have that. And then this is another item from my buddy uh, David over at Ultimate Survival Tips and Craig Cottle from the Nature Alliance School, the Tiny Survival Guide. So there's tons of information in this um, survival guide. The other thing that's great about it is that if I'm just sitting around the fire at night and you know waiting for someone to come find me because I got a busted leg, at least it's another thing I can look at to take my mind off the situation. You know, stay in the game, but also not be thinking about the fact that I'm lost or injured in the woods. Over on this side in the back, I've got this which is an astronaut blanket. Obviously you can use this to wrap around yourself to keep you warm, but also it can uh, serve as a shelter as well. At least something to get over your head to keep the rain or the snow off. Of. I was just looking through my kit again and I forgot to mention this. This is some of the fire strip roll. I've got about 10 feet of it. Extremely flammable, another way to help get your fire going. And basically you're just gonna rough it up and then some of the frayed edges you can uh, hit with a spark or a lighter and this stuff will burn even when it's damp and uh, another great way to get your uh, your fire going. Now I flip to the front here, you can see there's a spot for a patch. You could put something on there if you wanted to, obviously. And then there's a pocket here with the loop. So if I open this up and reach down in, you can see I've got a bunch of duct tape just wrapped around an old piece of cardboard or a business card. So duct tape is great for a variety of purposes, including repairing gear. I also think about it for uh, medical uses. If I get a cut on my hand, rather than keeping a ton of band-aids, which can get wet or you know just beat up in a kit, I can keep this uh, in my kit and then just tear off a piece and cover up a cut maybe on my hand or an arm or something like that. This is the last item that was in this little pouch and it's a tiny little tin container of fire starter. This is from Pro Camp Tech and it's just some of their shredded up fire starter which is really great, really flammable. It burns even when it's wet which is excellent and uh, that'll help me get a fire started. So that's what I chose to put in my compact survival kit. In the next video, again I'll take this out into the woods and test out the items. I want to hear from you guys now. If you had a kit this small, what would you take out of here and what would you put into this kit? I realize there's plenty of other items that you would choose if you had a lot of space, but remember, a very small compact kit. What would you remove and what would you put into this kit? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.